is fashion? Is it the color of your nail polish you put on last Thursday? Is it the brand name of your most recently bought handbag? Is it the mascara you put on this morning? Most importantly, what is fashion to you? Where did it come from? Why did it come to be so important in the modern world? Does it really matter what handbag you choose or the color of nail polish you used? The truth is not really. If you're wearing shoes that don't match your outfit, it really isn't the end of the world. So why do people care about it so much? Where and when did it come from? Fashion is one of the world's largest and most productive industries. You can find it anywhere, on the streets and in the media. Face it, fashion is everywhere. Not only does fashion affect the way we look, it also affects the way perceive us for who we are. Since its origin, fashion has always been a clear way to determine the difference between one's social class. These days, it's whoever has the latest brand name, product, and knows the latest trends. For people who can't afford it, they will spend hundreds to thousands of dollars on fashion a year, and some even more. Fashion is important in today's economy and makes fashion industries millions of dollars, from models to designers. It employs thousands of people, giving them jobs and a salary to live off. Fashion is important today, but where did it all begin? So let's go back, way back, to before fashion was a word, but more of an idea, before things like Prada, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Coach, and Armani existed, before things were rather necessities than accessories. When things like high heels, blue jeans, and nail polish couldn't even be imagined or understood, when fashion used to be a luxury only the rich and royal could afford. Obviously, clothes have always been important. People have always worn them. But still, the styles have changed over the years. Fashion has existed even in ancient times, though its existence may have been less obvious. Compared to today, in ancient times, fashion was less important than the actual practicality of clothing. One's ability to care about fashion or one's appearance showed which class they fell into within society. Only those with money or power could spend time worrying about such things as fashion. If one was a commoner and they lived in a ha hot place, one would worry first about light clothing and its practicality before they would worry about the appearance of their attire. In places such as Egypt, there is obvious evidence of fashion trends. In King Tut's tome, it presents a flourishing period for the importance of one's appearance. Garments often have fringes and borders to decorate the linen they used for clothing. Panther, le leopard, and gazelle hide were worn by the higher class people even though they had no practical use. Jewelry ranging from earrings to necklaces and even girdles have been discovered along with sealed cosmetics. Royalty often wore headdresses that had a symbolic form and collars. The Egyptian times were possibly the first times where difference in clothing began to have a meaning in the daily lives of people and possibly the beginning of fashion. Still, most people could not afford such luxuries, and the common woman wore simple dresses while men wore short kilts. In the di dynasties where art was more important, the clothing often became more elaborate while there were also periods of time in Egypt where the clothing was simple and humble. A people who put an emphasis on the fashion of those who were royal were the Assyrians. The kings wore long tunics that had many tassels on them. The tunics were connected to a girdle around the waist. The tunic of King Assurbanipal was what the modern tunic was based on and both fringed and embroidered as decoration. 
Fashion was important to the royalty of the past because it distinguished them from the other people and made them seem more powerful than the average human being. A major difference in fashion today is how practical some of the things we choose to wear are. For example, high heels have been known to give people who wear them numerous problems. Yet still, for the sake of looking taller and having cute shoes, people wear them. They do not benefit one's ability to walk as much as they hinder it. In the past, impractical shoes like high heels would easily be traded out for more practical footwear. The fact that we worry about wearing things like high heels shows how much we luxury we live in today. Though it's obvious the styles of today have changed dramatically since ancient times, the real question is, has the point of fashion? Truth is, fashion probably started with competition. The people higher in society wanted to stand out from those who were less wealthy. Therefore, they bought expensive items or cloth, and what better way to show it off than wear it? Thus, wanting to match those with styled clothing, others began to focus more on what they wore also. These days, you don't necessarily need to have a lot of money in order to afford fashion. Today, fashion has become a broader term, and you don't have to pay so much for it. Fashion is how you choose to express yourself. Though you might not pick up a textbook and start reading about fashion in the ancient world, it was still an important part of it. In the modern world, it is in our everyday lifestyles and seen all around us. Fashion has changed in ancient times, and it also has changed the world. Thank you for watching, because if it weren't for fashion, we'd all be naked! You know it's recording, right? You know. Are you, you're recording right now?